Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are building leaders today. I've got a pile I've started. We're gonna be making leaders that'll catch big bull reds, big black drum. I'm talking the fish that are 30 pound plus. I've never had these leaders fail, and I'm gonna show you how to make them. So what you need is some good, at least a 300 pound test. I mean, this is the Bill Fisher brand, good stuff. I've used a variety of just different types of monos over the year. Before I knew about the big mono, I used weed eater string, worked just as good. So next you'll need something to cut with. I like these uh, wire strippers and the sole reason I like them is it leaves a very clean cut when I'm cutting this mono and that's important when you're sliding the crimps on. Next is a good pair of crimpers. Don't be cheap, buy a good pair. The, both of these are clients. You can find them pretty much every hardware store. Uh, all my terminal tackle is must add, including the hooks. Uh, these are the 12 aught Demon Perfect Circle Hooks. Perfect for using crab, live bait. And let me show you one I just built a second ago, so you get an idea. So I got a swivel up top where I can connect my main line. Two crimps. Got it where I can connect my weight with a little snap swivel. And all the way down here, I've got my hook. So let me throw this GoPro on my head and we'll walk you through how to build one. All right, so let's get started. First, on your mono, pull you off right about five and a half, six feet of mono. We're gonna get two crimps, slide them on. That wire strippers makes a good clean cut. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it makes them crimps slide on real easy. And what I do is I basically just tie three granny knots. Start off with one. And on your second one, you're gonna get on the side of the swivel, just like so. Actually, let me redo that. I didn't leave myself enough slack. One, two, and three. get a good pair of tools you can do this with one hand crimps are cheap I double up I take no chances I don't want that uh, crimp to come undone in case one pulls all right next come back down to the other end we're gonna put our snap swivel on so I got some beads right here i forgot you can pick these up at walmart i mean they're cheap go to the craft section all this does is let my weight slide back and forth and take one more crimp and we're gonna slide this on here now we don't want it all the way up here we want to give it a little room we I like giving just about right there is perfect. Smash this baby down. So you're probably asking why I left this this short. Well, when I'm in the surf or on the pier, uh, we can take our hook, hook it to our spider weight, and then we have a real short leader we're casting instead of a, you know, five foot leader. So let's put the hook on. We'll do our crimps first. There's one. Oop, that one might be a little pinched. Felt like it. Yeah, I think that one's pinched. Okay, it's good. We're gonna do the same thing. Start with your granny knot. Let me get a little more slack. Slide this crimp all the way down to the circle. That circle right there. That hook will move freely on this loop.
And just like that, I mean, I leave my excess sticking out just a little bit. And that is that. The perfect leader is ready to fish. Hook, two crimps, back up here, got her snap swivel and main swivel on her other loop. And like I said, this loop, I'm gonna stick on the uh, spider weight itself, so I'm literally casting about that much instead of like five and a half feet. So that's it guys, that's how we do it. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Here is the leader we just made. It's ready to go fishing, ready to tackle some big drum. So if you're brand new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, link in the description on where you can get a discount to all these must-add products you see up here. You guys keep God first in your life, and we'll see you in the next video.